Well, hello YouTube friends. This is Bob and Crystal's life on the farm. Only this is her mom, Jack. And this is an update on what I've done so far. I've got the window open so that you can see better. Got my squashes all washed up, everything set to go. I'll get started on those first thing in the morning. I've gotten all my appliances out, all my cookbooks out. I've gotten my uh, main pantry all covered. This with the towel underneath my grinders. I have two grinders over here. Is more pantry items that I could not fit. It's macaroni, instant potatoes, things of that nature. I went out and stocked up on. This is the beautiful 50th anniversary balloon that my kids got for me for my surprise party. And okay, let's take a look at what I've gotten done so far. I have gone to the store and stocked up. I have shortening, sugar, powdered sugar. I put a five pound bag of flour in my ice box. This is to keep the dust off. This will be out on the counter tomorrow because I don't have very many jars. I'll be blanching and uh, seal mealing my butternut and acorn squash to put in the freezer. I've added to my uh, canned goods, to my uh, own canning stuff. I've added canned cheeses, breadcrumbs, uh, instant packages, more seasonings. I was stocked up on my ketchups and mayonnaise and soy sauce, barbecue sauce, hot sauce. Okay, over here in the corner is another one of my instant pots. On the bottom, I have things that go inside of all my different appliances. Those are the racks to dehydrate in my Ninja. Another little small instant pot, just the right size for my husband and I. This big one is good for, for canning. The Ninja is good for canning. Then I have the power oven fryer that dehydrates also along with the Ninja. I have very few canning jars left. And I still have one more cover to clean out. And that about does it for the day. Okay, well, that'll do it. And I will see you tomorrow. And we'll pick up with the uh, blanching of my acorn and butternut squash. Bye for now. Good morning. And welcome back to Bob and Crystal's Life on the Farm. As most of you know, I'm Crystal's mom. And... I'm going to be peeling, blanching, and freezing the rest of the garden uh, squashes that I brought back to Florida with me. I've got the butternut to do, and I've got acorn to do, and I'm going to uh, show you how I'm going to slice, clean, and put in the bowl, and I'll only do one. You don't want to watch me do all this, and then I'll do one of the acorn squash, and then I'll take you out to my kitchen to show you how I'm going to blanch them, and then put them in cold water, and then I'll have my seal -a meal set up on my kitchen counter to take them from there after they drain and put them in the freezer. Okay, let's get started. Butternut are a lot easier to uh, peel. 
than the acorn. But I think I finally figured out how to do the acorn a little bit easier than when I first tried. Now, this will be the last of the garden stuff, and I'm putting it in the freezer because I cannot get my hands on any more canning jars at the moment. Uh, eventually, when I can get my hands on the jar attachments for my seal -a meal I would like to dehydrate some of these and turn them into powder. Not all of them. I'd like to have a jar with just the dehydrated and then a little bit of powder from each different one to add to different soups and, and uh, things like that. My husband and I love the acorn squash. He's not sure about the butternut, but I'm sure he's going to love it. If I was canning it, I would can it with the uh, simple ground sugar uh, syrup I raw canned the last time, the butternut, and put the brown sugar uh, and water syrup into that to can it. And I think we may have some of that for supper to give it a try. So, let's see how far I have to go to hit my stems. Got this little handy dandy corer to take it out. This thing works pretty good. I bought it for um, doing the uh, tomatoes from the garden to get the stems out. And uh, Crystal and I have used them and they seem to work pretty well. Now, these ones are kind of little, but waste not, want not. And we pulled them for, from the garden before we got the first thaw. So we'll see how they, uh, they taste. And I'm sure in a later video, uh, I will uh, let you know and Crystal sure to put it up on our website. Not too bad. I see a lot of different people on the web uh, finding amazing uh, quantities of canning jars, but not in Michigan and not so far that I've seen here in Florida. They don't have any canning thing available. I'm on a waiting list with Amazon for my attachments for my seal -a meal and uh, they're saying maybe the first week of November so I'll keep my fingers crossed on that and hope that they come but until then it's just um, this will be my last project and until I can really get my hands on some of those because putting all my dehydrated in the food saver bags would also take up too much room and I am very limited on room here in the trailer. That's why I want to dehydrate to begin with. Um, just the canned goods that my daughter and I have put up over the summer have uh, pretty much filled the uh, pantry racks that I have behind me. So, that's one of the butternut. I'll show you how I do 
the acorn. Cut this bad piece off. Cut that a little bit deeper. Okay. I go down the inside these rims that it has. Okay, and all the way. There we go. You see these rims that come down? That's what I'm going to try to do. Cut right down the rims so that I'll have an easier time trying to peel them. And I watched a video on it because the first time I tried this, it was horrible trying to get these peeled between these rims. But this way is not too bad. So we'll see how I do today. Turns out that Florida's wet weather is still not over. It's done nothing but rain since I've gotten home. Usually, October is a nice warm month. The rainy season's over and we can enjoy pool time, but not so far. I didn't have time for pool time anyways, trying to get the trailer back in order. See, those cut up pretty good. But what I should have done first was get all my peels out of here. This has got nice little teeth on there that I uh, don't know if you can see them good or not. The teeth actually do uh, a good job cleaning these seeds and the uh, stringy stuff out of the centers of these. Okay, got that one done. Let's see if it's any easier. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so I showed you how I, I cut them and how I clean them. I'll clean up the rest of those in just a minute. And I'll show you right now that I just take it by my hand and I hold it like this and it's so much easier to, they're gonna fly everywhere, of course, instead of in my strainer. I'll move it over some, maybe they'll go in better. And this is so much easier. YouTube's a wonderful thing. I have learned so much. I used to can years ago and I, uh, I really enjoyed it. And then uh, my back started getting pretty bad and couldn't move around too much. So I kind of gave it up. I was Now I've lived with the pain for so many years that it's gotten better. And uh, my dehydrating, I didn't know anybody that was dehydrating and I never heard of YouTube back then, about eight, nine years ago. And all of my dehydrating stuff always went rancid, got moldy on me. So I gave that up too. And I have a, subscribed to a lot of the uh, different YouTube channels on canning, pressure cooking, dehydrating, uh, slow cooking, 
Um, and I've learned a great many things about why I failed so bad back then. So, I am going to stick to it this time and follow all the advice that I've been getting from YouTube, which is absolutely wonderful. And, like I said, as soon as I can get my hands on those jar lids, I will start dehydrating. Uh, right now, I like I showed you, I have a Ninja and a power air fryer oven that dehydrates but I have a surprise coming next week just a little one and I'll make sure that crystal includes that in uh, in front of my first project okay well once I get all of these cleaned and ready to blanch, I'll bring you back. Stay with me. Okay, I'm back. What I have in my strainer here, I have drained, put in cold water, and I'm letting it drip before I bag it. That is my uh, butternut squash. And I have on the stove, my acorn squash that I'm blanching right now. I'm going to give the squash just a couple more minutes to rest. And let's see. Yeah, it's pretty cool to the touch. And uh, then I'll start packing it. Okay, well, that problem solved. I finally figured out how to make it seal. And I redone those two. And this is my acorn squash. Let's get that in there. So I, I ended up with two bags of each. I probably would have had a little more, but my husband had to have those three whole ones. So here we go. Well, I had to call my daughter and ask her how hers works because this one's identical and I've only ever had a little one before so I got help but now I know how to work it two meals a piece in here when I take them out unless our family from New York comes and then that'll be just enough for the four of us so that project's done and I will see you sometime next week when my surprise gets here I hope you all have a wonderful day and if you Went all the way to the end with me on this. I surely appreciate it. And if you could help my daughter and son-in-law out by subscribing, hit the like button, press the little bell, and be notified. See you again. Bye for now.